Here's a kicker for you. The guy at the factory forgot to do his job. Now you at the corporate office have to pack, let's say, 100 boxes. Well, in, in addition to actually doing all the packaging and whatnot, you have to create the labels for them. And this is what this tutorial video is about. So from beginning to end, we're going to see how to do barcodes and everything we need in Excel. Here we go. So let's go ahead. First of all, you're going to need a barcode font. And a little common one is code 39 font. Let's see, free download. So yeah, just googling code 39 free download will get you what you need. And the one I used, let's see, give me a moment to find it. Okay, back at my Google result, second result down. We download this and these TTF files. Now, as trivial as this was for me thinking of how the hell do I install these fonts, actually quite easy. So let's get rid of that. Go to control panel. And in there there's a section called fonts. Simply drag and drop. Okay. Supply my credentials and it is officially installed. And that step's not necessary in Windows XP. So if we run, for example, right now a WordPad. Alright, and let's say you get a um, barcode that's something like it. You're always going to have these two stars here. At least that's what I experienced. And we put a 18. And uh, let's add 0192635641. That I make this up off the top of my head. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, something like that. Twelve digit. So there we have it in Arial font. And let's go find our. I could just type in free. Nine of uh, Sometimes it pops up. Okay, let me go find it in this list. Hey, there it is, free of nine. Okay, and as you can see, it pops up right here as a font. You could have to increase the size, something like 20, it'll do 32. And center it all on the screen. But there you go. Fully working barcode. And uh, sometimes these stars might not even be there. That's this first character here. Uh, let me uh, kind of highlight it. You know, at least something like that beginning is always a star. And you'll notice it also ends that same exact way. Yeah. Well. Anyway. So now that we have that, it's integrated into the computer. Now we can put it into an Excel sheet. Okay, how many, uh, how long I've been recording this already? Alright, not too bad. So, let's say, I don't know, we'll have a UPC number and a, uh, what else can you have? Uh, some product number, right? Uh, well, it's not going to be that small. And product number. So, let's say uh, the UPC. Uh, zero nine two five uh, four 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 uh, four four four. Uh, I don't know. I'm making that. Don't laugh at me if that's even not even meeting the value requirements. I'm just sticking it in there. And the product number. Oh, uh, let me put in uh, uh, TK. Oops. TK four six seven one one two five whatever. And uh, oh, one important thing. Let's say for whatever reason this has a zero in front of it. You'll notice that Excel gets rid of the zero. So in order to get around that, you have to make sure the cell is formatted for text. Right there. All right. So then we can put in the zero, 
and it stays like that. Uh, what some people try to do to get around, like putting zeros in front, is they uh, put some type of uh, this little quote one quote symbol, but uh, it's not practical in a company. You'd have to write a big macro to get all that done. But anyway, you could just write the number like that. So uh, hell, let's. Uh, Copy that, make it increment by one, and drag it out. Have about ten entries. Well, it just repeated itself because it's text, but you get the idea. Yes, uh, actually, uh, the UPC number since it's one company that would just be all the same, and then this would be the thing that would increment. Let me uh, put it over here. Uh, oh, automatically incremented. That was good. Right, stick that back there. And then let me just make sure the cells keep in the format. Alright, so now we got um we got the Excel sheet that we're gonna use. And uh, also let, let, let's put a, a serial number. Who who knows what the hell we're selling, but it might have a additional a serial number and an access key, whatever. It has all these things, zero a a eight. Uh, let's see. Let's, uh, e, I guess each serial number would be different too, right? That's incrementing. All right, let me go through this procedure. You don't even watch me do this. Okay, so pretty much almost done here. Uh, I guess the only thing here, oh, I put. I guess uh, if we're selling a product, the passwords are all the same, access keys are all the same, except for one, for whatever reason. And if you wanted to preview these barcodes in Excel, you could press the equal sign, click there, and it repeats the number. Now, essentially, all we have to do from here is change this column's uh, font. So we can go ahead and find our font, which is free 309. And then, of course, increase the size. So, there you go. And that does it for each individual one. A3, A4, you can see uh, what it's referencing uh, over up here when you're when you're clicking on whatever cell you're accessing. Uh, A4, whatever. So we're set to go. I can close this. Oh, of course I need to save it. So save it on the desktop. Book one. All right. Now time to make the labels. So you just went down to your Office Max or Office Depot. You got a uh, 300 labels, and now you got to set it up. And this part's a bit confusing. So first thing, you're going to go to here, mailings. In here, you're going to go to the labels. And uh, the procedure is similar to Office 2003. You can do it in there too. Uh, I had created a new, um, my own label, but uh, usually you'll see something like this you choose uh, whatever is your fancy but essentially here 8.5 by 11 is a paper size which is probably what you get from any uh, office distribution store uh, height width one by one okay let's make it a new label something uh, custom test two because I already have a test one that I tried here and let's say the width is four for each label it's uh, two across, ten going down, uh, the top margin 0 0.5 inches, uh, side margins a quarter of an inch. Of course, so, you know, uh, what I be being by margins is that's top margin and this is side margin. Simple enough. Vertical pitch, how do you want them separated? Let's say I don't want them separated at all. I want one immediately after the other. There we go. I press OK. So here I can go ahead press OK and let's create the new document. Um, it might work differently in 2003, I don't know. But let's go ahead and you can see basically a standard table come up. now. In fact, I want to do something different. Let's see how much time I have left. I'm almost out of time here. We're going to have to continue this tutorial in the next video.